Trace. Welcome to episode 34 of the RLE series. Going through one of the most well-known major film studios, famous for its structure, talking about 20th Century Fox. They were founded in 1935 by a merger between Fox Film and 20th Century Pictures. In 2019, they were acquired by Disney, and TCF was rebranded to 20th Century Studios in 2020. We have 10 logos. Their first one's called Fox Film Text, used from 1915 to 1935. The credit text of Fox Films, it would just say, Fox Film Presents, in other cases, mention the name of William Fox, William Fox Presents. Is there availability for this logo? Is this first Fox Film logo available or not? Let's have a look. Very rare. About 75% of Fox Films' pre-1930 feature film output was completely lost in 1937 Vault Fire, can be seen on Sunrise from 1927, and other films of the era, but most just contain a Fox Films notice in the credit sequence. Occasionally appears on films shown on TCM's Silent Sunday Nights or on Fox Movie Channel, but trends on the latter have been scarce to none. The circle premiered on Regeneration and made its final appearance on N.O. Kentucky. Their next though was this. It's called the WF letters, used from 1915 to 1917. We see the word copyright in a slightly curly serif font with two shapes on either side to make it look like a ribbon or banner. Below that, we see a William Fox in the same font but larger letters. Below that's an abstract T-like shape with a diamond and the letters WF in a diamond shape. Is there availability for this logo? Is this second Fox film logo available or not? Let's have a look. Ultra rare. The video above comes from a tale of two cities. It was also seen on Regeneration. Okay, play the final Fox film logo. Over the final frame of the film, we see a long F wiping in. Then Ox appears letter by letter. At this point, the background fades to a black screen. Another long F wipes in, and Elm appears letter by letter. Trail appears behind the letters. The entire text is in an Art Deco font. Is there availability for this logo? Let's see if this final Fox film logo is available. Let's have a look. Ultra rare. The superimposed version can be found on Hoopla. Well, we'll move on to 20th Century Pictures. Cue the only logo it has. On a dark sky background, three rows of words, 20th Century and Pictures Inc. apparently carved out of stone or metal are seen. The words are stacked on top of each other, similarly carved lines separating the rows. The 20th is the biggest row, with Century and Pictures Inc. a bit smaller. A circular stage-like structure juts out of the base of the stack, with a light below the structure that shines in front of the stack. There are pedestals on both sides of the stack, each with a non-moving searchlight. In the background, several searchlights scan the sky. This one was designed by Emil Costa Jr. The logo was created as a painting on several layers of glass and animated frame by frame. Is there availability for this logo? Is the only 20th Century Pictures logo available or not? Let's have a look. Extremely rare. Until recently, this logo is on the verge of extinction due to chronic plastering by any of the 20th Century Fox logos. Seen on streaming prints of the Bowery, the Cinema Archives DVD-R of Clive of India, TV airings of the House of Rothschild along with Blood Money whenever they air on TCM or the Fox Movie Channel block on FXM, the logo premiered on the Bowery and made its final appearance on Folly's Burdery. Though most of 
prints of Call of the Wild have plastered this with the 1953 logo. It has recently surfaced on the Blu-ray release since it uses a new restoration. 20th Century Pictures merged with Fox Film Corporation, forming 20th Century Fox in 1935. Cue the first 20th Century Fox logo! It's the same as the 20th Century Pictures Inc. logo, except Fox appears in place of Pictures Inc. This logo is once again designed by Emil Cosa Jr. Is there availability for this logo? Is this first 20th Century Fox logo available or not? Let's have a look. Very common. It's still saved on just about every 20th Century Fox release, with some exceptions. First logo debuted in black and white, while it was introduced in color in 1936. The color version can be seen on the 2007 DVD release of the 1939 version of The Little Princess. Though some public domain prints of the film use the next logo, while other prints use either the black and white version or no logo at all. Some colorized prints of Bright Eyes and Heidi, as well as some newer colorized prints of Miracle on 34th Street. The logo premiered on Metro Punks and made its final official appearance on Putin's in the Pill. Though the next logo premiered on The Robe. Some current releases of films, such as Blue Bird, Leave Her to Heaven, Forever Amber, and David and Beth Sheba, and Circulation Plaster with this logo is the next one. Older television prints of Return to the Fly plastered the next logo with this one. While attaining the Cinemascope fanfare, followed by the Seven Arts Television logo, this fanfare sampled to the Weather Girls 1982 soundtrack a success. It makes a strange appearance at the start of early 97 Network the Australia airing of Conan the Barbarian, placed in the third logo. Okay, here's the next logo! A redrawn and much clearer version of the last logo, but the zero on the top is crooked and two searchlights behind the tower have been removed. This logo is designed by Rocky Longo, who is an artist at Pacific Title and Art Studio Inc. He also designed the next logo. Is there availability for this logo? Let's see if this second 20th Century Fox logo is available. Very common. It's still retained on just about every 20th Century Fox release, starting with The Robe, the first film to use this logo. The Cinemascope variants are usually subject to plastering. However, one print of Satan Never Sleep that aired on AMC in the early 2000s plastered it with the fourth logo, but is retained on DVD releases of said film and an FMC airing. Some films from the era, such as Star Wars Episode Four, New Hope, and Star Wars Episode V, The Empire Strikes Back, were also seen with this logo, which were kept on the original theatrical versions on the 2006 DVD releases of said films, but is replaced with the fourth logo on all special edition versions. The international version of Chariots of Fire also originally had this logo, but plastered it with the 1994 logo on the current UK DVD release. However, it was intact on a recent TV ring on Sky and the Warner Blu ray of the international version. The original VHS releases of Moving Violation and Thunder. And lightning by key video updated it with the third logo. Former restored it on current prints and the Shout Factory DVD, while the latter still plasters but keeps the original abridged fanfare. Some releases of Alien and its director's cut version plaster it with the third logo. Though the first 1981 VHS, 1999 theatrical DVD, and the newest Blu ray retained it. This logo possibly made its final official appearance on Wall Street, though all current prints updated it with the third logo. I don't know if it originally appeared on theatrical prints as well. This logo can be found on some early mid 80s films of the era, such as Cannonball Run, old radio releases of Bill Cosby himself, the original CBS Fox video release of Revenge of the Nerds, the original key video VHS of The Buddy System, Moving Violations, the CBS Fox VHS of Project X, older cable prints of Young Guns, and old VHS copies of Young Guns 2. No latest film Letterbox later this release used the third logo. These aforementioned were some of the few films that their respective years used use this logo. Sadly, most home video DVD releases and TV prints of these films plus without the third logo or those from another distributor. 
current prints of Avalanche's books of the Walmart film, they should be WB now owns due to the purchase of the former's library, plus the current WB shield is attacked on the Spanish R2 DVD. This logo is not seen at all on Carmen Jones, the girl can't help but a so called deception on the stage, as well as we, those magnificent men in their flying machines, Batman the movie, Cape Town Fair, the original star, Airfall, Patton, the TV broadcast slice in the logo from another film, Tora Tora Tora, Trouble Man, The Poison Den Adventure, USA Prince of the Towering Inferno, Fox owns primaries both North American distribution rights. Well, Warner Bros. owns most international rights. Both companies worked on film together. At Long Last Love, The Adventures of Sherlock Holmes, Smarter Weather, Silent Movie, Putting to the Pill, all this of World War II. The regular zero variant was on a cinema scope, starting with the 20th Century Fox with Epicard, Sound Music, and Dr. Doolittle. 1976 Wii Vision makes a very strange appearance on the Criterion Collection Blu ray of Naked Lunch, a 1991 film. Pills on the Vestor media test of Fort Pash, the Bronx, despite not avenging T- TCF on the cover, and a Trefecta syndicated print of Oh Heavenly Dog. Paramount slash Trefecta announced the DVD rights via Mulberry Square Productions. Previously, had to deal with five common enterprises in the past. Southern Comfort was originally seen with the 1976 revision before or the Cinema School items. It can be seen on some older European copies, preceded by the Overseas Film Group logo. Across the 2009 logo on Logan, Neuer Edition, the original Blade video VHS Magic retains this logo, not on the Blade Laserdisc. Well, let's go to the third logo! Cue it! Ugh, that was so long! Another redrawn version of the last logo, this time, the structure is off-center left as the late 1960s to the 1953 logo. This one was designed when Rocky Longo repainted the eight-layered glass panels to straighten the zero. This design of logo still continues to this day in a slightly modified form. Is this logo available or not? Is this third 20th Century Fox logo available or not? Let's have a look. Very common. Notable films to use this logo are Taps, The Verdict, Natural Versus of Star Wars Episode 6, Return of the Jedi, Hawkeyes 2, The Next Day, Roman Sing the Stone, Hawkeyes Revenge, Commando, Aliens, Predator, Broadcast News, Big, Die Hard, Working Girl, Say Anything, Wool of Roses, Die Hard 2, Home Alone, Predator 2, Edward Scissorhands, Home Alone 2, Lost in New York, Alien 3, The Sandlot, The Stoutfire, Speed, and Baby Stay Out, among others. It allegedly premiered on the Choo Choo and the Philly Flash. Here's our VHS copies of said film, but there are theatrical copies that exist with the previous logo. The logo made its final appearance in Airheads, while the next logo debuted on True Lies. This is also plastered with a second logo on four frame VHS releases of Star Wars Episode 4 A New Hope, 1982 to 1992. It was retained on the film's HBO premiere in 1983, and wide screen releases on the film on VHS on Laserdiscs in 1989, 1992, and 1993. It was reinstated at full frame version in 1995 on VHS. Current prints of Thunder and Lightning with the abridged Cinemascope fanfare, Wizards, the Rector's Cut of Alien, My Bodyguard, Revenge of the Nerds, Bad Medicine, Moving Violations, Wall Street, and uh, of the Nerds, Revenge of the Nerds 2, Nerds in Paradise. Fox plastered the first and the second logos. Some colorized versions of its films in the late 1980s, which is available on 34th Street, where the original logos were stored on new colorized prints, and tight color films such as Halls of Montezuma. This can also be seen on international prints of Crocodile Dundee, except in Australia and New Zealand. Films distributed by Hortz Distribution, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, Doom, The Secret of the Ooze, Surprise, and appeared on a bootleg Blu ray, and uh, we? Uh, I don't know what that is. So what's the trailer for Deck the Halls? When History of the World, Part 1, one of the last films to use the second logo, aired on AMC in the mid 2000s, the standard version of the logo popped up at the very end. Recent AMC airings now use the current 20th television logo instead. Similar occurrences happened when AMC aired Independence Day back in 2008. Post 2007 releases of Die Hard update this with the 1997 logo. The Hong Kong 1995 P and S L D of Star Wars Episode uh, 6. 
in Return of the Jedi, Moose is favored the CBS Fox video logo. The band W variant, though extremely rare, appears on some American parts of the Sicilian. Do I expect this to see on a best of video? VHS, the 1989 best of video release of Young Guns, including the late 90s live we put, just the master, plus the TCF logo sped up sound version of the best of pictures logo. While all the prints omits the logo, in case we older pay TV copies, plastered it with the 1953 logo. Other Fox releases of Morgan Creek News has the logo plastered, and our media home entertainment releases current print. Trade on the CBS Fox video, slash Fox video releases of the Exodus 2, Young Guns, and Pacific Heights on 2B TV's print of Nightweed, the Ethical Cut. Older VHS and DVD copies of Speed had the logo plastered over the X1, however, it's retained on the Blu-ray. On these releases, along with new for live entertainment and artist entertainment, of films from Latin Entertainment Corporation generally preserve this logo, but it's moved on an entire one release of Mannequin 2 on the move by Live Home Video. The Blu ray of Millennium from Shop Factory, the Allen Films Blu ray release is of Mannequin and Mannequin 2 on the move, the entire six re release of Weekends at Bernie's by Avid Home Entertainment. It's also preserved on the Vestral Video, VHS, and Shop Factory Blu ray of the Sicilian. I believe that international theatrical prints of Brazil had this logo. Most home video releases go straight to the opening title of the car. Fox Blue Race has their entire four logo. Most US home video releases, but the Princess Blood do not have this logo. Concession on the 1998 MGMBH disc, as they only have North American television and theatrical rights, and as a result, it can be seen on US TV prints of said film. Clearly, the copy streaming on Disney Plus is the May of 2020. The 1979 theme variant makes a surprise appearance at the end of Sony Movie Channel's broadcast on the 1974 TV movie Death a spelling slash Goldberg production, before the SPT logo. It originally appeared on overseas theatrical prints of Conan the Barbarian, released by Universal Pictures in the United States. Current overseas prints have the 1997 logo in place. It was, however, retained on a recent Asian airing of on the Hits Movies Network. Well, let's head to the fourth logo. Cue it. We start on a black background then two searchlights swoop across the screen, revealing a top aerial view of the 20th Century Fox structure, redone in CGI. Camera pans down there across the logo, revealing a starry and cloudy blue, purple, orange Los Angeles and Hollywood evening sound at a distance, settling into its more customary position and angle. Bowline, a news corporation company, fades in at the bottom of the screen. Structure looks similar to the 1981 logo. Is this logo have availability or not? Let's see if this fourth 20th Century Fox logo is available. Very common. First seen on True Lies, in front of almost every subsequent 20th Century Fox film from this time period up to Tooth Fairy. Surprisingly, it also appears on some trailers, behind the scene clips, and interviews for Predators. Also, the international trailer for Vampires Suck, tandem with the new logo. Also appears on some video games based on 20th Century Fox's films. This logo is just tandem with the next logo until mid 2010. Set on direct video releases of that year, such as Flicka 2, Mirrors 2, Space 2. Dark Talk Strikes Back, among others. Plus, second logo in international DVD releases of Chariots of Fire and Conan the Barbarian, as 20th Century Fox holds distribution rights, makes a strange reappearance of the toy animation production Dragon Ball Z Battle of Gods from 2013, still remains unchanged on the US Funimation DVD and Blu ray release. And it is also surprisingly preserved on the American DVD release of the Wiggles movie, which we titled The Magical Adventure, a Wiggly movie, despite the US DVD being from Hit Entertainment. On newer prints of some pre-1997 films, examples being Neil the Page Master and Page Master and Jingle All the Way, 1994 fan films by the 1997 one. On digital copies of Star Wars episodes V two one one one, the Fox logo is being removed and only shows Lucas film logo with a custom Star Wars theme. It's likely due to Disney's ownership of the latter since 2012. However, following this purchase of studio. Recent Disney Plus prints have the logo stored, including the registered trademark symbol in the News Corporation Island. Unexpectedly appears just at the end of some prints, including a true entertainment UK broadcast of the 2005 TV movie Susan's Diary for Nicholas, a Fox Television Studios production. 
On certain films, the original film's logo is plastered with a digital copy of the same, same exact logo. The same with current points of Independence Day. It also appears on some international copies of The Art of War, including the TCFHEPAL DVD of it. Time to get to the final 20th Century Fox logo! Cue it! It's a redone and more realistic version of the 1994 tower. This time, it's in a dark orange evening environment. When the structure is in its distance, you can see an extra searchlight and a pair of palm trees on the bottom right hand corner. This structure, or the 1994 structure, also looks similar to the third logo. This logo is designed by Chris Wedge, Carlos Santana, and Steve Martino, and was animated at the now defunct Blue Sky Studios, Twin Century Fox's sibling company, and the creator of Ice Age and Robots. Is there availability for this logo? Is this final 20th Century Fox logo available or not? Let's have a look. Very common. The first film to use this was Avatar. The prototype versions are found on the trailers and TV spots for Avatar, as well as various newer 20th Century Fox games. This one with the phrase celebrating 75 years and an engraved news corporation ballot made its debut on Percy Jackson and the Olympians, The Lightning Thief, released on February 12, 2010, and last appeared on Gulliver's Travels, released on December 25, 2010, Christmas Day. It also appears on most international theatrical releases of MGM films, such as Hot Top Time Machine. It also appears on some video games based on 20th Century Fox films, such as the Alien vs. Predator game, Rio, Nice Age Continental Drift, Arctic Games, the last film to use this logo with the news corporation violin was The Heat, released on June 28, 2013. From March 22, 2013 to June 2, 2017, seen at the start of DreamWorks Animation Films with the 2010 DreamWorks Animation logo, beginning with The Croons and ending with Captain Underpants, the first epic movie. Newer releases may plaster it with the current Universal Pictures logo, when BBC aired some of them, the Paramount Pictures logo appeared instead. It's possible they wanted consistency. It additionally plastered the previous logos on Star Wars 2, I mean, 1, The Phantom Menace, 3D Prince Only, and International Prince of Titanic since 2012, 1901, Rogue One Predator, 3D Prince Only since 2013. The final film to use the solo prior to the rename of the studio, dropping the Fox name, and mostly people associated TCF with other Fox properties, most notably Fox News, which is no longer under common ownership of the studio, was Underwater, released on January 10, 2010. However, in 2009, logo with the 20th Century Fox name made a surprise appearance on The Empty Man, released on October 23, 2020. Despite a show of posters in the studio's logo, this was because the film was shot in 2017 and was shelved for three years. Now we move on to the 20th Century Studios logo. Cue it! Nearly the same as the final 20th Century Fox logo, except the Fox is replaced with studios and centuries taller to accommodate for it. The logo has also been enhanced with more realistic lighting and textures, different sky backdrop, different palm trees, sleek looking searchlights, large and more detail, Los Angeles cityscape. Is there availability for this logo? See if this new 20th Century Studios logo is available. The availability is brand new. First seen on a TV spot for Call of the Wild, then he made it on the aforementioned film itself. Also appeared on the New Mutants. This logo is expected to appear on future films by the company. This does not appear on the Empty Man. Strange Impressors, the logo with the final 20th Century Fox logo, as it takes place in 2017. It's also used as a de facto video logo on current TCS home media releases after the final TCFHE logo retired. Well, well that's the end. See you at episode 35.
Next time on the Lobo Evolution series is Nickelodeon Movies.